Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Neeks and I'm here to explain the Bad Bitch Readathon to you. Yeah. I'm super excited about this. I <laughs> can't really uh, believe that I actually put it out there into the world, but I'm so thankful to all of you that showed um, so much early interest and I'm just here to give you some recs to get you started. I will have the full web page ready to go in a couple weeks. No, I'll have it done before September. If you follow me on Twitter, that's the best way for you to get notified when I do have all of that ready to go. Instagram is also good, but everything happens for me first on Twitter. So without further ado, let me explain the Bad Bitch Readathon. So the Bad Bitch Readathon is my way of giving homage, giving love to all of the bad bitches that exist in media, in books, in life. You know, my mom's a bad bitch. I'm a bad bitch. You're a bad bitch. The only requirement to be a bad bitch is that you have the right attitude of loving yourself and loving others. You should want to uplift others. So we're going to talk about the different categories. Okay, so the first category is the overall bad bitch. For this prompt, I just want you to read about a main character who is bad, who loves themselves, who loves others, who protects them fiercely. So I have a couple pulls for that. And then one pull that works for literally all of these. Let me start with the bad bitches, overall bad bitches. Emmanuel, I just read this book. You guys know that I, I'm absolutely in love with it, but Emmanuel is definitely a bad bitch once she gets going. Now, she the reason she fits into this category is because no matter what happens to her in this book, she's determined to go back and protect her family and friends no matter what. Um, even though Bethel as a whole has been bad to her. So she gets to be a bad bitch. Next up, we have Ren from Incendiary by Zoraida Cordova. Obviously, this was another book that I raved and raved and raved on about. I cried about it. Ren is dealing with a lot. Our girl is going through some shit. But every time she gets knocked down, she is down for the cause. She is down to topple the monarchy, which are the actual bad guys in this story and she's doing it all because she wants a better life for people like her for people who are uh, endowed with these magical powers whatever they may be so she wants a better life for all bad bitch behavior we stand this one might be a little controversial considering I didn't like this book but I did like the sequel Death Nation by Justina Ireland Jane McKean is a bad bitch for several reasons this girl is a shambler killer she is determined to protect her fellow shambler killers I forgot the name of the Academy but she is all for the protection of her fellow Shambler killers. She's all about keeping um, the black people in the story safe. She's all about keeping the white people in the story safe, the, the Native American people in the story safe. So she's all about keeping everybody safe, even though a lot of those people do not like her. Bad bitch attitude, bad bitch material. Read this book knowing the trigger warnings, which I went into in my video. I'll put it in the cards above. Yeah. Next on my bad bitch radar, um, obviously this one won't be out until September 15th, but remember the bad bitch readathon is going on all September, so you can read it after you get it. Brie from Legendborn. This book, you'll see it in my reading vlog, but this book had me so lost in thought, not just because of the subject material, but because it was such a wonderful story, and because Brie, the main character, is a bad bitch. The 16 year old is going through a lot and she's trying to figure out how she fits into this world, several different facets of the world, while fighting her own grief, while fighting her own lack of roots, so to speak. That was a play on words. Not a spoiler though. So I do definitely advise that you pick this up. Again, you will see my full reading vlog on September 9th, which is my blog tour date. I'm so excited for this book. Ah, Tracy Dia. Okay, that's enough for the bad bitch category. I do want to make sure I give some good good suggestions for the other categories. So category number two. Category number two is a frosty bitch. You everybody knows a cold ass bitch. Okay, we know them. They're they are cold. They're prickly. They are Oh, I have to make an amendment for this prompt. I want you to read about a main character that is just so prickly just so closed off to everyone around her until she figures out that a real bad bitch cares for others and lets others care for her. Suggestions for that and my first amendment, Jane McKean. Jane McKean gets to be a prickly bitch because of everything that's going on. So I'm going to move her out of my bad bitch suggestion and put her in my frosty bitch suggestion. A suggestion. Next up on frosty bitch, Maggie from Trail of Lightning is the frostiest of the frosty bitches. This woman has been scorned to put it lightly. We open this story with her 
being kind of alone and being really prickly because a thunder god decided to break up with her and she's kind of closed herself off from everybody else in the world um, except for this friendly old man. So over the course of the story you'll see her lighten up, you'll see her warm up and um, kind of tear down some of those walls that have made her into a cold ass bitch. Um, another good suggestion for Frosty Bitch. As soon from the fifth season from the Broken Earth Trilogy by N.K. Jemisin, Asun literally wants everybody to leave her the fuck alone. Why? She's done. She's done with the world. She doesn't care about anything except her kids and staying safe with those kids. Some stuff happens to her in this uh, because of those kids or in spite of them rather and because of her past catching up to her. So um, I think she's a perfect example for Frosty Bitch. If you guys have not already read the Broken Earth Trilogy, now is a fantastic time to get into it. Last but not least, Song of Wraith and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown. This one I debated on putting it in because Malik is not a Frosty Bitch. Malik is a soft cinnamon bun, but Karina, that girl's a Frosty Bitch. Karina's the one you see on the cover. I love her. She's really hard. I mean, she cares about people, but she's in this position of status that prevents her from leaving and she really wants to leave. She's lost a lot. She doesn't really see the need for her to reach out to other people to heal because she's clearly hurting. So you can put her in Frosty Bitch. Now, since I have this in my hand, let's go to the third category, which is Silly Bitch. Malik. Malik is a silly bitch. Malik, he makes all the wrong turns, okay? He makes poor choices out of the goodness of his heart, but he makes silly, silly bitch choices. So I think if you want to read both something for Frosty and Silly Bitch, this is a perfect pick for you. Malik is a perfect cinnamon bun, Karina is a frosty ass bitch, but watching them kind of come together and soften slash harden each other, it's a beautiful journey. I love it. Further silly bitches. Camille from the Bells. Camille is only a silly bitch because she's been raised to find beauty in all things and to trust in the king and queen and do her duty without question. But because of that, she doesn't question things that are clearly unsafe, and she finds herself in a boatload of harrowing situations. Silly bitch energy. Now this is a book that I have not read, but I've heard so much about it and I cannot wait to read it. This will be my pick for silly bitch in September. The Poppy War. Apparently Ren is just not the greatest at making good decisions, which puts her firmly in silly bitch territory. We stand. The fourth category is probably my favorite. It's Thirsty Bitch. This is a bitch who owns every single aspect of their sexuality. They are not afraid to have sex, they enjoy sex, they are having it consensually and safely with their partner or multiple partners. Now for this one you can choose a variety of books. I'll probably end up reading a couple romances for this one, but what's on my shelves for it? You know what, again some of these are overlapping, so just from the ones that I've already pulled you can pull Fifth Season for Thirsty Bitch. You can pull, you can honestly pull Song of Wraith and Ruin for this one. It, it's implied that she's had sex with many of the stable hands in this book. You don't see it. It's a YA novel. You don't see it. Pull Incendiary. Red and Des, get it on. You don't see it. It's a fade to black. Calm down. YA. Anything by Alyssa Cole. Anything by Talia Hibbert. You can pull those for this category. Thirsty Bitch all day. So the book that was on my shelves that could fit into every single category here is the City We Became by N.K. Jemisin. There are five different protagonists in here, but you can find one protagonist to fit into each of these categories. So if you really just want to read one book, read We Became the City. So that is the Bad Bitch Rundown. Those are your prompts. Now I, again, when I release the webpage for it, um, I will have all the IG challenges that you can do in addition to these, all the Twitter challenges, which just include posting. I really want to thank you guys for being about this bad bitch readathon. <laughs> anyway, I will remember I will have all the updates going up on Twitter first and then they'll hit Instagram. If you are participating, please, please, please shoot me a Twitter message or an IG message because I want to make sure that I promote your videos or your posts or whatever you're going to be putting out because I you're supporting me. Let me support you back. Let's be bad bitches together. I also want to emphasize that you don't have to be a woman to be a bad bitch. A bad bitch, again, is anyone with the right attitude who loves themselves and loves others and uplifts others. So I'm really excited about this readathon. I think it's going to be a really great way to find more people in the community and it's just going to be fun. If you want to, go ahead and subscribe. Maybe hit that thumbs up. Maybe you hit the bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. I will see you next time. Bye!